When somebody tells you something that is confusing on a subject you know nothing about, you are statistically more likely to, to buy into that definition and that that line of thinking because you had a fresh perspective. You didn't have an opinion on it already. So like Mark Twain has an expression, it is easy to fool a man, it is almost impossible to convince a man that he's been fooled. So they're gonna grab a hold of something you've never heard of, they're gonna tell you, oh you really need this. And the truth is you don't. Hi, my name is John Jaquish. I'm a doctor of biomedical engineering, which gives me a unique perspective beyond what you're probably used to here on YouTube. Now today, I wanna to talk about the Forbes list that just came out on the best pre-workouts of 2025. Now, let me just start by saying, Forbes is a magazine that does financial analysis and reporting on the happenings of US business different markets, equities market, or commodities markets, th things like that. You might assume it would be strange that they want to weigh in on sports nutrition since that's not really their expertise and oh boy, does this list show that they don't know what they're talking about. But it's okay. A lot of these lists that you see, this isn't true 100% of the time, but it's probably true 50% of the time. A lot of these companies will pay their, like pay to get on the list. And I think that's why these lists don't really have much of a market effect. But if you happen upon one of my, I want you to just keep in mind that they're all written strategically to encourage you to buy whatever the product is they're writing about. Uh, they don't really trash anybody's product, but they're often collecting a fee from wh whoever's selling this. And I just want to go over four, the, four different ones that I noticed on the list that I just sort of scratched my head over. And in, in general, the list is laughable. Uh, but let's get started. So the first one, uh, it's from Transparent Labs. It's called Bulk Pre-Workout, which uh, you might assume is loaded with sugar, but it's not, even though it's called Bulk. I think they mean you get bulk pricing. And it's 55 bucks for a month supply. Ingredients are caffeine, beta alanine, L-thionine, citrulline, uh, malate, and yeah, and that's it. So beta alanine is awesome because it almost amplifies what caffeine does without having you take in a lot of caffeine. And this has 200 milligrams, which is the same that I put in my own pre-workout called Imperium. Now that one is an appetite suppressant also because it uses powdered MCT oil. So I think mine's better, but hey, I'm biased. Uh, but this one, it, it doesn't look particularly bad. And also, you'll notice I don't mention my pre-workout product or anybody's pre-workout product very often because ultimately, it's really just a caffeine delivery mechanism. So, you know, if you like coffee, that's cool. You don't really need a pre-workout if you like that. And also, there's no other junk that's going to end up in coffee. Like, if there's sugar in your coffee, it's because you put it there and you shouldn't. And in pre-workouts, sometimes it's a staggering amount of artificial sweeteners, sometimes it's sugar, sometimes it's both, which is a real head scratcher. But that, that's what I gotta say about bulk. The next one is called Pre-X. And this one has 300 milligrams of caffeine. Now, I, my philosophy on caffeine is you wanna try to see if you can get the same effect of whatever caffeine you take in now with 50 milligrams a day. Because if you switch to 50, which is like a tiny amount, like, like that's just you know that much coffee in your coffee cup, like you know, obviously maybe four ounces of, of coffee. So that's gonna give you 50 milligrams of caffeine. And when your body adjusts to that, it will have the same effect of whatever caffeine you're used to right now. So the, the saturation point of caffeine and the maximum effect of caffeine really just has to do with passing a certain threshold and then what you're accustomed to. So if you're accustomed to 800 milligrams and you take in 50 milligrams, you're gonna be feeling tired for about two weeks. And then that will be the new homeostasis. That's what your body's looking for. And you can 
you'll, you're adapted to the 50 milligrams. In that space, in between, you'll probably get headaches. The headaches are not from a caffeine deficiency. That's not a thing. It's because caffeine is a vasoconstrictor. So it tightens up on the blood vessels so they, the, every time your heart tries to pump blood, that wave that happens where there's a visceral muscle contraction pushing the wave away from the heart, there's already a partial contraction. So instead of completely contracting and releasing, there's a bottleneck to blood flow. Now there's a feedback mechanism to the heart that says, uh-oh, we're not getting blood as far as we should with each aortic wave. Therefore, we need to increase heart rate. And that's the energy you get from a vasoconstrictor like caffeine or nicotine. So, you know, immediately you have a couple sips of coffee, and you're, okay, I'm ready to start my day. But just keep in mind, you can do that with a tiny amount of caffeine and that's what you should do. So even pre-workouts, like when I see 300 milligrams of caffeine, like, no. <laughs> you know, I, 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 maybe like a third of a dose, you get 100. I don't know, it just seems like overkill to me. And you know, the beta alanine is cool because that lets you get even more out of caffeine, but maybe just for argument's sake, if you, if you did like this one, you could save a ton of money because you gotta figure out what uh, one sixth of a dosage is and you could really stretch this out. But I mean, you're probably gonna mix it in a shot glass because it's not gonna be much material. Next one is called Pulse. Uh, and it says, best pre-workout for variety. I'm not even gonna read any further than that because I think Variety is something you seek if you don't have a problem being overweight and being stuck there forever. Like, that's, to me, that's like a toxic word. Variety. No, you should not seek variety. You should seek the same thing every day so you can stick to your principles and look at food like it's fuel because that's what it is. Like, you wouldn't, put sugar in your gas tank of your car just to be fun because it would ruin your car. Well, the same thing's happening to your body. You just have taste as a variable and most people have very, very little self-control and also most people don't realize just how damaging some of these junk food things are. So like, don't seek variety. So that, I mean, as soon as I saw that word, it was just like a visceral, like, oh, I already don't like you. But the rest of the ingredients, they're the same as everything else. This one has 350 milligrams of caffeine uh, per serving. So yeah, they really want to get the kids addicted to this one. Because uh, obviously, once you start having scoops of this, your body's used to a higher level of caffeine. And that's a business strategy that they have. Like I low dose caffeine in Imperium because I, that's the healthier thing to do. I want people to be used to a lower level so they get more out of it. And they're not creating any knock-on cardiac problems in the future but just because they're used to such a high level. These guys obviously don't subscribe to that. Now, uh, the last one, and I, I saved the best, which really means worst, for last. Uh, so this is the best pre-workout for muscle gain. Hmm, how's it gonna help you gain muscle? That's interesting. So this one has its two top ingredients, caffeine and creatine, which cancel each other out. And there's plenty of research on that. So you don't get the benefits of caffeine and you don't get the benefits of creatine when you take them together. And okay, there's a couple of essential amino acids in here, but you need all of them, not just a couple for muscle gain, and this says it's for muscle gain, so, and maybe they say it's for muscle gain because it has creatine in it, but once again, one of the other ingredients screws up the creatine. So, this particular pre-workout, uh, I wouldn't take for free. It's completely garbage. And also, just keep in mind, don't get your nutrition advice from a finance magazine. 
I would say stay subscribed to this channel and I'll point out what are the good things, what are the bad things, and what are the things that matter. Because I think ultimately when you make a poor decision in picking a supplement, it's because you're told something that matters that really doesn't matter. That's a, that's a common way marketers grab your attention and misdirect you without anybody calling them out for lying. They just get you to be obsessed with something that doesn't matter. I could give examples of uh, in, in, throughout human history. Carbon, for example, we're told that it causes global warming. It actually doesn't, and it's what plants breathe. So uh, the higher the carbon in the atmosphere, the greener the forests are and the faster plants grow. So that's just like a, a great example of how marketers used something that you weren't completely versed in and they victimized you by lying about what it was and what it does. And I think a lot of times in nutrition, the same tactic is deployed so that you're, you become confused. And because when somebody tells you something that is confusing on a subject you know nothing about, you are statistically more likely to, to buy into that definition and that that line of thinking because you had a fresh perspective. You didn't have an opinion on it already. So like Mark Twain has an expression, it is easy to fool a man. It is almost impossible to convince a man that he's been fooled. So they're gonna grab a hold of something you've never heard of. They're gonna tell you, oh, you really need this. And the truth is you don't. So things to keep in mind. I hope this helps. Comment, uh, any questions. If, if there's a particular pre-workout you'd like me to review, Put it in the comments and we'll see you on the next video. If this video helped you, I want you to subscribe and follow. I'm gonna put out videos on a regular basis. I think they're gonna help a whole lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't just instantly grow from lifting regular weights. We've got the answer for you.